Kim Porter says she dumped Diddy. I feel like in a statement to the TV show The Insider, she says she decided to end what she calls her on again, off again relationship with Sean Diddy Cohn. He loves the ability to manipulate and control people. Why? Most likely because he was victimized by his mentor, who loved to control people. And his mentor was Andre Lavelle. Kim know all his deepest secrets. You understand? Kim knew why he was using the butt plugs. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Kim Porter allegedly filmed Diddy and his late instructor Andre Harrell engaging in sexual activity. And the truth has now come to light. The whole entertainment business has been shaken by this startling turn of events. Despite his highly public phony partnerships, Diddy has been the subject of LGBT rumors. Perhaps delving into their covert activities will provide light on Diddy's seemingly endless success, but that's just a hunch. Fasten your seatbelts, for here we will be drinking all the tea in the world. An anonymous source has recently shared some shocking information with Tough News TV. According to the information provided, Kid Porter filmed private moments between Diddy and his late mentor. After gathering this potentially game-changing proof, she kept it to herself, perhaps until the moment was right. On game, when Kim was working at Uptown Records in the building that Uptown Records was housed, then Kim Porter actually retrieved the security footage from that build and we're talking about all around coverage. She was able to watch the two men's steamy encounters unfold in real time. Including footage of Diddy allegedly giving Andre some and so this footage that Kim Porter had in her possession made her extremely dangerous. You can understand how the explosive evidence rendered her useless to Diddy's success formula. But what gave her the idea that Andre and Diddy were an item? Let's back up a bit and talk about how we got here. We all know that Kim was working on an all-tell book, and her book was going to unveil many things. Well, as Kim and Andre were friends, she reached out to him to reminisce about some things from the past. While she met Andre at lunch and dinner to talk about the things that transpired in the past. Some details Andre revealed raised her hackles. She was disturbed, to say the least, so she decided to throw a trick question in the mix. She asked Andre about the rumors about his and Diddy's intimate relationship. At this time, Kim was already certain of the truth, but she was curious to see Andre's reaction to gauge how much she could believe his word. Andre, however, fell for the trap and has since denied all allegations, maintaining that their relationship was only business related. Perhaps he foresaw that his situation would deteriorate to his detriment and, as a result, decided to play it safe. Furthermore, he had no interest in being revealed in Kim's tell all book. Kim's suspicions about Andre's reliability were only confirmed by this, prompting her to seek out the famed video footage for herself. The fans are spot on, too. Diddy was obsessed with Kim Porter. Aside from that, Kim knew all of Diddy's secrets, most of all the countless people Diddy has killed, and second, him being a full-blown gay man. Kim had cold hard proof, multiple videos of Diddy having s with famous and non-famous men. According to the unnamed source, Kim confronted Diddy about sexually abusing Usher after he was rushed to the hospital to have his behind sewn up. A cocaine dealer also made a significant comment. Music manager and alleged cocaine trafficker James Rosemond allegedly informed federal authorities in the United States that Diddy engages in sexual activity with minors. Rosemond alleged that Diddy had a number of victims including musician Usher but did not name them all. When Usher and Diddy first started making music together, Usher was 15 and Diddy was 24. While Usher was a teenager recording his first album, his mother, Jonetta Patton, brought him to New York to stay with P. Diddy. That was a bad decision. Under the threat of perjury, Rosemond told federal authorities that Diddy had sexual relations with an underage Usher. To refresh your memory, in an interview with The Art of Conversation, Keith D, as Dwayne Keith, alleged that Diddy used to throw sketchy gay parties that many famous people went to in an attempt to find excitement. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not no gay bastard or nothing. I mean, none of that shit, but that shit ain't right, you know what I'm saying? Now that we're back on the subject, it seems reasonable to assume that Kim was onto something if she uncovered his deceitful behavior. Diddy may have plotted her death to protect his career from being derailed. Even Sean Combs' former security has come forward with claims that Diddy brutalized Kim because he was worried his secret would be revealed. We are all aware of the severe discrimination that homosexual black rappers face. Gene claims that this was the tipping point that led Diddy to order the assassination of the American actress. He was with every chick, every dude, whoever he wanted to be with. You know, when Kim was alive, uh, praying with them, doing whatever he had to do to be with them. It appears that while dating Kim Porter, the rapper was a chronic cheater. But Gene was not through. He knew Diddy well and continued by saying that Sean had exploited the death of Diddy's ex-girlfriend for publicity and by striking at the people's emotions. And then as soon as she dead, you know, and we don't want nobody, none of our loved ones, the people that we deal with ever to go, you know, he used that as a tool to get to everybody's heart. 
A good Samaritan also told us that Diddy purchased the 24 karat gold casket in which Kim Porter was buried a month before her death. Gene even let us in on the secret that Diddy was gay and a violent abuser of the ladies in his relationships. According to Gene Deal, Diddy is a recovered woman beater who battered his baby's mother, Missa Hilton, because he suspected she was having an affair with a member of EPMD. Gene further claims Diddy tried to beat up Kim Porter, but Kim took that trash and sliced his wrist, sending him to the hospital. 24th and 8th Avenue down to 127th Street before they caught him. D allowed him to be around the same gang like that. Yeah, he's same gang. I give him that. Even the time Diddy supposedly broke Kim's nose is remembered by fans. They have done a good job of scrubbing the story of Diddy breaking Kim Porter's nose on that yacht and flying that plastic surgeon in. I forget BS, but I don't forget stuff like that. It happened in like 2005. As she worked alongside Andre for so long in the same field, Jaguar Wrights has stepped forward to share her own perspective on the case. She is convinced that Andre mistreated and groomed Diddy, and that Diddy inherited Andre's sexual preferences. An extreme narcissist who loves power. He loves the ability to manipulate and control people. Why? Most likely because he was victimized by his mentor. She further alleged that Clyde Davis, Andre's mentor in this twisted, sexually abusive, and toxic network, was the original link in this connection. I know some guys who worked personally with Clyde Davis, and they had to leave him before they hurt him. Davis appears to have continued the practice of torturing artists in order to achieve his own ends. Those of you who are paying attention when an insider told the people that Whitney was suffering under the weight of Davis's despotism might recall this. Houston had to do what he said, wear what he said to, sing what he wanted her to sing, and act like a goody two-shoes when she was really a down and dirty girl from Jersey. Whitney definitely resented that. He certainly left Andre with the poisonous legacy of manipulating artists, which Andre, in turn, passed on to the next generation. Yet, Jaguar seems unconcerned about the damage they cause to young musicians through the harsh business practices they employ in the name of music. The simple fact that this man feels as though he gets to ruin lives with impunity. Mm. Fans are relieved that the truth is finally coming out in 2023, hoping that this will be the beginning of a massive cleanup in the entertainment business. 2023 is set to be the year that the floodgates start to get open, and those that doubted much of what has been implied or is allegedly implied become common knowledge in the likes of He Orlando. And Jaguar have been stating for years becomes common knowledge. I never doubted any of what they were saying, nor did I think they were crazy. The entire industry that is showbiz needs a cleanup. Let's hope a level playing field is in sight and the high regard so many of us have for the legacy of many, including Kim Porter, is finally honored. Keep in mind, though, that Andre the Giant fired Diddy from his record label because even he couldn't reign in the rap mogul. Diddy thanked Harold at Clive Davis's pre Grammys dinner in 2020 for all that he had done for him. I want to take the time to thank Andre for being a big brother for believing in me. I call you my big brother, but tonight I've got to tell you the truth. I told you my father died when I was two and a half. Andre, you've been my father for like the last 30 years. For now, I'll wrap things up. We'll meet again at the next one. Goodbye.